The Prize Gifts, a story about giving. PJ was walking along the path when McWhiskers ran out to meet him. McWhiskers plopped a candle into his hand. Surprise, McWhiskers shouted when he ran off toward PJ's house. PJ wondered why McWhiskers gave him a candle, but he kept it and walked toward home. Suddenly, Tux ran out to meet him. Tux plopped another candle into his hand. Surprise, Tux shouted. Then he ran off toward PJ's house. PJ wondered why Tux gave him a candle, but he kept it and walked toward home. Suddenly, Kowali ran out to meet him. Kowali plopped a candle into his hand. Surprise, Kowali shouted. Then he ran off toward PJ's house. PJ's hands were getting full of candles, but he kept walking toward home. Suddenly, Brew ran out to meet him. Brew plopped a candle into his hand. Surprise, Brew shouted. Then he ran off toward PJ's house. PJ hardly knew what to do with all the candles now, but he kept walking toward home. Suddenly, Puddles ran out to meet him. Puddles plopped another candle into his hand. Surprise, Puddles shouted. Then he ran off toward PJ's house. PJ was almost home now. His arms were filled with candles. He wondered why his friends had stuffed all these candles into his hands. PJ was ready to open his door to go into his house when he heard his friends nearby. Surprise, they shouted. Then all of PJ's friends stepped from behind a big bush where they had been hiding. Brew was holding a big cake. He had a silly grin on his face. Happy birthday to you, PJ's friends began to sing. PJ smiled a big smile. He had almost forgotten that this was his birthday because he thought his friends had almost forgotten that this was his birthday. Here, said Brew, stick those candles on this cake and let's sing for you again. Now PJ knew why they had given him all the candles and PJ thought this must be about the best birthday ever. Perhaps that was because his friends had given him the most unusual birthday gifts ever. By the way, if it's your birthday, happy birthday!